welcome back everyone to another painting session. It is now time for me to start another series. And as the poll has decided, I will be doing the plant and floral inspired uh, series. <clears throat> First up, perhaps some of you wouldn't recognize this, some of you not, but this is a type of holly. <clears throat> Uh, the possum hall, holly to be specific. Now, it, I'm going to be drawing the one that's it without leaves. I might have a few leaves in here, uh, but not a lot. As this is one that was found nearby uh, when I went biking. And it didn't have a lot of leaves on it. Not dead by any means. It simply didn't, so I'll be drawing it in that image. I do know that a lot of holly plants, even around here, are very lush with leaves and uh, green around them. But this one, I would just be focusing more on the red berries that come along with it. Just like two paintings before in uh, the Elegance in the Sky painting, I'll be having a similar sky with purples, magentas, all that um, sunset colors or sunrise colors other one that fits that description and the planets will reflect that but when we go into the land it will be more green and I, I think I might even have a few leaves up there but as you can see the mountains will be green there will be forests on the bay and there will be a little reflection here of all the colors and a brownish sand bank over here. That's what I plan to do. I do hope that this series is successful because I did put a lot of time in some of these sketches. I do have a lot of these and more to come. I do plan for this to be a very lengthy series, though I do plan to take some breaks now and then. I don't want it to just be just plant and whatnot based over like months and months, because that's going to be the span of this. It'll be, like I uh, again said, it'll be a very, very, very long series compared to my other ones. I will go through some of them. And then after this, I'll just get to painting. Some of these are colored, some of them are not. I believe this is the end of the end color ones. But... There will also be some in there, like the amber you just saw, that aren't particularly plants, but they do kind of fit the description of how I'm going to put them into painting. Nature type stuff. Though that might stick to the end, or depending of how well the series goes, I might not even um, put it in, like the amber one, for instance. But other ones, like fungus and moss, will still be in as their plants and flora. So, yeah, that pretty much covers that. I'm going to go over this, and then I will start the time lapse. Now, there is going to be a bit of a jump. That is because I'm going to do the face part. Maybe not even the clouds included uh, on this, in this part of the day. Later on, I'm going to have to do something. And then I'll, I'll come back. So if there's a good jump of, let's say, in the beginning, because the garage doors are closed. So when I open it, there's going to be a lot of light because it's the morning at the moment. And when I end the video, it's practically night. That's why. Big time skip. But yeah, I have high hopes. Very high hopes. If I do this right, this will be one of the best. I sure hope so. And with that out of the way, I hope you enjoy the time lapse.
And this is the finished product. I am very, very proud of how this thing came out. Just uh, excuse me while I move this chair. There we go. Now, as I was saying, I am very proud of this painting. Of course, some things could be changed. That will be the same for any painting I make. But with this one, it's a bit less than usual. A little slower because it will focus a bit more. Of course, starting with the obvious, the clouds could be a bit better in color. I think just the yellow was a bit excessive. Maybe I could have stretched it out a bit more. Um, but yeah, and, and some of the clouds too drastic, too sudden. Like over here, there's too much yellow. Oh, uh, over it does all the magenta and pink I had over it prior. And this cloud <clears throat> needs more on the edge. The mountains are good. I like those. Uh, I could have done with a bit more tint on the sides, but that's fine. The water is very good. I am very proud with the water. Of course, over here you can see some. Oh, where is it? Nope, right there. Little droplets there. That's because of the high pressure of midnight blue that I used. That's this color right there. It's always uh, that color in particular. It, it doesn't matter how many cans I make or I, I have, it, it's always gonna um, be very high pressure. So I can't really help that. So unfortunately, it did. And these little dots down, but you do have to kind of look pretty closely to see them. Um, yeah, anyways, water, very good. I am very proud of how I got the gradient to match the sky. I think it makes it very, very fluid in, um, in color and in scheme. I think the theme of the purple mix with the yellow is done very, very well by me. This has been a, uh, a color mix that I have failed to do time and time again until now. Maybe two videos before, but until now, uh, I'm very, very proud of how I use colors in today's painting session and just the painting in general. Hopefully I can broaden this to other color schemes and themes to have a better gradient and whatnot. The stars as well in the comments. The planets especially, I, I think are very, very good. Especially this one, I really like this one. This planet could have been a bit crisper over here because I had the weight a bit over the edge. So that didn't let a lot of color in to make it a more hard seam. But this, this is very good. A new technique I was using that I forgot for shading. I remembered it. If you want to learn that, then I'll just tell it quickly. It's not that hard. Um, whenever you have a still can, whenever, uh, what still means is whenever the can's been out and the solvent and paint has had time to solidify, uh, and, well, that might not be a good way to say, but it, they're not mixed up, is what I mean. They ain't mixed up. The solvent and paint are um, divided together against each other I mean so when you do mix it up that's how you make the paint so you could spray it so to make it so that it is less pressured you don't shake as much now unfortunately I cannot do that for midnight blue no matter how hard I try uh, it will always be high pressure but with some paints like the very dark brown I have it does it very 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 well and I do that for most of my planets to make very, a very clean shading. Um, but yeah, onto other things. The land itself, I think I did well. The trees are good. The land, the waves are good. Makes a good transition. Though they could use some work. But this was the very new thing. I was doing a plant. Of course, the holly 
with no leaves. Pretty dead shrub. Um, but still has the berries, as it usually does. Now, the plant itself has more uh, straight branches, stockier branches, uh, though mine is more sprawled. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate, and it's fine. You got the right berries on it. Berries can be a bit more proportion, they're the right size, but you can't really see them on the camera. You can pretty well see them from here, um, especially on the bottom where they contrast well. And if you look closely, there's a little bit tint on them like here, shown well. It's just a little bit, so it's just not just one color, you know. But all in all, I think I am very, very happy. No, I know. I am very, very happy with this painting. And I hope you're, you all are too. I'll give you a sneak peek on the next video that we're doing. This will be on the Alabama Supplejack plant. Of course, all these sketches are not particularly indicative of the found product, but they are very, very close to it. I'm very happy to see how this one turns out. But I do hope it is, good, it is as good as this one. It won't have any clouds, but I will have this little vine over here, <clears throat> which that will be, that will be the next challenge. But yeah, I'll just have a comparison of sketch. Sketch to painting, I don't mind the shoes. But let me hold the phone a bit better. There we go. Sketch, good look, and painting. I'll do it again. Sketch, painting. I think the painting looks better. Of course, that's the only thing I'd say when I have uh, good paintings. So yeah, again, I am very proud with today's painting session. And I hope you all are too. Some ways you could show me that you have enjoyed tonight's painting session is to, of course, hopefully you already know by commenting what you like about today's video and painting, what you don't like, I'll happily read either, as both of them help me grow into a better YouTuber, uh, though I'd rather not use that word, um, but painter, and someone who makes videos. <clears throat> um, you could subscribe to the channel to see more of these videos as I will be doing more of these like I have told you the next one about the Alabama Supplejack it is if it is as good as this one it really does require your attention if you are interested in this sort of thing spray paintings uh, and you can of course just as simple view the video or like the video dislike the video to reflect what you feel about the video and the painting respectively and until next time I hope that all of you have a great night bye bye